Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. In today's video we will show you guys how to remove and replace seat belt buckle. Okay, this is guys your seat belt buckle. Uh, we will demonstrate guys, most of the cars will be that way. We will demonstrate on a Ford vehicle, but most of them will be that way. Stay with us, we will explain how to do that. Quick introduction guys, every car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 videos guys. We take them completely apart. Why? Because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video guys, hopefully you will find the information helpful. If you guys need to buy any tools or parts guys to fix your car or uh, anything else guys check out the link in the description of the video below guys you can get the tools and parts for super good price guys and fast shipping as well. Now in order to remove and replace the seat belt buckle guys you have to go ahead and remove the whole seat out of the car. Most of the times that's how we do it. 9 out of 10 times that's how you guys do it. So stay with us we'll explain what needs to be done to remove your seat. Uh, so you can get to the seat belt buckle and we'll explain after that how to remove and replace that thing. So let's start on it now. So first step guys will be to disconnect your car battery. Okay why you need to do that? Simply guys because the car battery is part of the airbag system guys. The correct way to disconnect car batteries is to get the negative cable loose first. Okay we have our pre loosened so I can save you a little bit of time and always use gloves. Always use gloves guys. Always use eye protection and because that acid from the battery is going to guys actually uh, okay this is disconnected to go ahead and burn your fingers guys the skin so always use gloves why don't use them don't ask me why now positive is pre loosen too and uh, go ahead and put something here like a, a glove or something so it's not going to uh, connect accidentally okay if um, if it comes loose or something like that so now next step guys wait one hour before we continue why because almost every new vehicle guys has side airbags in the seats you have seat belt pretensioner you have uh, seat belt buckle and on the passenger side if you're doing front passenger seat guys we will have the occupant sensor as well all that is part of the airbag system and you have to disconnect the car battery at least one hour before you start working on airbag components why because otherwise they can blow up in your face and even though you disconnect the car battery things still can go wrong so if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag systems i wouldn't recommend it guys consider this entertaining video and not a how-to video so after we disconnect it for an hour guys okay we'll explain what you need to do but now we run into a problem and i wanted to show you that guys if you have manual seats you're perfectly fine to disconnect the car battery but since we have manual seats we are kind of okay stuck now why because we have to move the seat back and forth so what i'll do guys i'm going to go ahead and reconnect the car battery simply because we need to move guys the seat and i'll show you when we're going to disconnect it okay so we're going to cover everything guys today so you know what to do now let's go ahead and move the seat so car battery guys has been connected now i'm going to go ahead and move the seat all the way to the back now almost 80 90 percent of the cars will be that way okay it's terribly dirty guys uh, but this is a parts car and i know people don't take care of their cars we took it for a parts car we need a few things so now we're going to go ahead and remove two bolts guys one here one over there so stay with us okay most of the times they're either with a uh, regular socket or most of the times torx okay like that this is a torx 50 socket so we'll go ahead remove these two bolts guys okay right here on the front and then we're going to move the seat to the to the front and remove something else so we'll explain what in a second okay let's go ahead and get these two loose perfect now some vehicles guys have only two bolts on the front like for instance i recently worked on chevy cruise and they had only two bolts on the front but most cars will have four bolts guys four not just two and we just dropped our two okay getting the same perfect now what we are going to do next now guys okay i'm go we are going to go ahead and move the seat all the way to the front now all the way as much as it can go and let's do the back as well because it's leaned well or leave it like that the back rest will leave it like that perfect now we'll go ahead and disconnect two more bolts guys remove two more bolts and let me show you where they're located all the way guys down there so let me actually come from the other side 
And right here guys, okay, we're going to remove these two bolts. As I said, most of the cars will have guys four bolts. Two on the front, two on the rear. And you will always find some money under the seats, I guarantee you that guys. So, in our case, we might end up using bigger tools because those bolts, first guys, they might have thread lockers. Second, they may have quite a bit of rust underneath. Because most of the times you can see when you remove the bolt, you can see the road underneath guys. So they're exposed to the elements salt water dirt okay this one does have a little bit of rust but not too much guys not too terrible and it's only like five six years old i think at the moment five so we have one more there Okay, removing this one now. Now guys, what we're going to do next we're going to go ahead and disconnect the car battery now you need to disconnect the car battery at least for one hour guys because we don't need after that okay to move the seat at all guys okay well, i had the jump starter here because our battery was a little bit weak and i wanted to make sure we can move the seat but disconnect car battery and uh but let me see now we may be yeah we may need to move it a little bit to the back simply because we need to disconnect the cable so let me reconnect it quick so car battery is actually reconnected now guys we're going to scoot the seat to the back that way we can access the wiring harness and we'll explain why okay perfect just like that so now i can simply go ahead guys and disconnect the car battery but uh, once we disconnect it we will have to guys go ahead and wait at least one hour disconnect the negative first okay i have them loose already i didn't retighten them so we'll wait one hour now most of the times guys you need to tilt the seat towards the back and you either have a wiring harness that you need to disconnect it could be attached to the seat or it could be under the seat guys or on the floor for instance chevy guys they uh, like their connectors being under the carpet actually so you have to lift the seat on the front and access it this one you just remove the bolt on forward vehicles guys usually pretty simple and disconnect it once you do all that okay you will be ready to simply guys grab your seat and just be careful okay not to scratch things too much when you remove it and grab it guys and you will be able to pull it out now if you have power seats leather seats those are usually way heavier than regular seats guys so okay you can see we got it out now as you can see guys the seat is right here so we'll be trying not to scratch ours and it came out okay just like that so these same seats guys okay you can see one is leather one is on leather they're out of forward focus we're just upgrading with leather seats so we will explain on the old seats how to do that guys so the same thing guys doesn't matter if it's uh, uh, leather non-leather seats procedure is practically the same so this is guys your seat belt buckle why we need it to remove it oh found me a penny i guess let me get it quick you never know i need that penny one day so remove that buckle guys and oh found me a warm too jelly warm awesome we have guys that bolt on the side that you need to remove okay and the seat belt buckle is often part of the airbag system guys so uh, you always have to have the car battery disconnected okay when you remove the seats and all that stuff so go ahead remove the bolt for the seat belt buckle sometimes this bolt guys will have thread locker it means that uh, you have that thread locker so the bolt cannot get loose from vibrations because if it does you can guys die if you're in an accident so because your seat belt will not be functioning correctly now we're going to tip the seat on the side guys okay and what we need to do we need to follow the wire okay this is the wire underneath the seat guys and that wire goes all the way okay okay let me get a little bit of a better view okay all the way to the connector okay right here so now guys we're going to explain what needs to be done okay to actually uh, remove okay i'm trying to get a little bit of light for you okay remove that wire 
If they're in a connector like that, usually have a tooth or something that you push down. Okay, let me get a small screwdriver now and I will explain how to do that. Okay, right here is the tooth on ours. Okay, we push it down. And then, okay, let me show you now. You just grab it and slide it out, guys. And now all we have to do, oh, found, found me another penny. All we have to do, guys, go ahead and feed the wire under the seat. You may have a few clips here and there. Later, it's very important to connect it the same way. And uh, once we do all that, guys, okay, we have one, okay, now one clip there that we need to get loose metal clip it's important to feed the wire and attach it securely because if you move the seat back and forward what may happen guys is you uh, it may get stuck somewhere and you break your wire and as a result guys uh, as a result you will guys uh, have uh, your light seat belt light and airbag light on which is very very annoying so you can see it's coming out now we just have a few more clips to disconnect right there and it will almost be disattached perfect now i'll grab it and we'll gently guys okay start feeding that thing out through the hole and this right here guys is your seat belt buckle you can see that's how you guys remove it not very complicated putting it together is in reverse order we took it apart hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel for more videos and see you guys next time